Astonishing news coming out of Cheltenham. Two players admitting they didn't give 100% in a game. I mean, have you ever seen anything like that? No. Heard anything like that? Well, it's this thing that football fans almost universally think. They can tell when a player's not giving 100%. Um, and the fact that they've been so open to admit, even in the dressing room, I think is just astonishing. I think I, I used to hate it as a player when people said, oh, you're not trying, you're not giving the effort. Because that's one thing that the players, I always feel, do give 100%. And then when you get two players, two professional players coming out and saying they weren't giving it, it's just, I just find it amazing. Well, Patrice Evra earlier on in the season said that um, when people were looking at Manchester United's European performances compared to their Premier League performances, this would seem to be a bit more bite about the, the Champions League, of course. And he said, well, we're really up for the Champions League games. We haven't been so much for the Premier League games. I know that's unprofessional to say. But I mean, that's outrageous for a guy who's been French captain, Manchester United captain, to pretty much say, he hasn't said we didn't give 100%, but he's saying, well, we're trying more in these games than, than those games. Now, you can understand cup competitions, especially European competitions, there's a little bit more of a feeling, but I, I thought that was absolutely outrageous. More, more specifically, if you were the chairman, manager at that football club, mm. would you want those two players to still be there. Well, well if you were an employer in, in, in any other sphere of life, in an office or a building site, and then one of your employers was saying, I've not been trying that much. You'd sack them, wouldn't you? Well, you'd, you'd certainly look into it, wouldn't you? We all have off days from, you know. From oh, I understand, <laughs> you know, understand Even understand you, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, regular, I, don't, regular. I don't believe that. Yeah. I don't believe that, yeah. <laughs> no, but listen, if a, fo if a footballer from my club doesn't give 125%, then I'm not happy. 150%, yeah. 163%. <laughs> but well, then, no, listen, as a, as, a, as a supporter, you want to see the players, even if they're not that great quality, mm. as long as they are putting that shift in for your team. I think that's... You forgive the, a lot, don't you? You do that. forgive a lot, yeah. I think, the, I think they've been very, very silly coming out and saying that because, you know, as, as Jeff said, we'll have off days and it is a job. We have to... I mean, you don't know that more than I'll ever know, but, but it is a job being a footballer. Mm. And, and like you say, sometimes you are a little bit tired of these things in your personal life or whatever it may be. But... Don't admit it. To get, well, no, not don't admit it, but don't come out and go, yeah, I wasn't really trying. I think, you know, address that and, and then uh, and keep going. But, what, what, about, what about Cheltenham generally this season? I mean, last year they were in the playoffs. This season it's just, they've been nowhere near it, haven't they? Well, if I was mitigating for the two players, I would say they did have nothing to play for. Um, so, you know, that, that's the only excuse you can kind of form and even that one feels incredibly weak as I say it. Um, but yeah, they've, they've had a very iffy season. Um, whether those two chaps will be around next season to start, I don't think they will. Well, what would you say, you, you know, if, if one of your teammates said that they weren't given 100%, what would your re reaction have been? Well, I'd be thinking, get rid of them. That's right. what I'd be, that, my first reaction would be, yeah. well, you, you don't really deserve to be in our squad. That would be my first thought. But what are your thoughts? That's more <laughs> specifically the point. What do you fans of Cheltenham think? Let us know on Twitter, at Ball Street. <laughs>